For the second day, rescue crews were plucking people from the ice. This man spent the night stranded on the ice where temperatures dropped to minus 26. Some, though, were clearly reluctant to be led back to shore. I'm not happy about it. I, in some ways, I wish I might have stayed out there. because it's, it's a nice day. I could be fishing today, and I'm, they're not letting me out. Two choppers circled the lake for hours today. Well, with the temperatures dropping last night as they did, uh, we were concerned that there is ice formed over these uh, pressure cracks that opened up, and uh, ice, of course, which is not safe enough to walk or drive a snowmobile over. Military helicopters and police forces from across the province were called to Lake Simcoe yesterday. That's when strong winds forced the ice on the lake to split right open. Residents smooth. say they've this never seen anything like this before. Tell you, my family was pretty scared, <laughs> knowing that we had a lot of friends, a lot of family out here. 250 people were rescued yesterday. But as night fell, blinding snow and high winds forced the search effort to a stop. Rescue teams were back on the job this morning. By midday, they appeared frustrated. Some who were rescued wanted to rush back to the ice for their gear. Just use caution and, you know, and just use your head. You'll be fine. Just, you know, just have to know where to go and don't be a hot dog. You're going to come back fishing again? In hours. As soon as I can get out there, I'm gone. Police called off their search late this afternoon, but they're still concerned about a hundred people still out on the ice, waiting for that bite. You know, if you're going to be fools and go out there, you know, if fish are more important than their lives, then, you know, that's up to them. The ice on Lake Simcoe is still thin in too many places, so police want people to stay off and save their fishing for later when it's safer. Satinder Bindra, CBC News, Jackson's Point, Ontario.